Welcome to the People Connect Podcast. Your network is your net worth. Are you ready to take your life to the next level? Be prepared to leap out of your comfort zone and connect with the who's who of what you want to do. Stop, drop, and roll as we start, market, and grow the CEO of you and your host, Nichelle Womack. She will help you engage, reinvent, motivate, and reactivate your plans for success. What's going on, everybody? Happy, happy day to you. Welcome to the People Connect Podcast. I am your host, Nichelle Womack. Thank you so much for downloading the podcast, sharing it with others, and creating a welcome environment. As always, we bring you information, inspiration, and motivation to help you start market and grow into the CEO of you. Today, my friends, we are going to be talking about how to turn your email list into cash. Yes, the dollars, the coins, the ching ching, whatever you want to call it. We're going to talk talk about how to do that. It's not a simple process, though, I must tell you, as I've stated numerous times over and over again, that I've been in business 25 years. And I told you back when I started my business, email was not even a word of mention. In fact, we didn't even have computers to send it. So how would it be a word of mention? But now today in today's environment, the marketing environment that we have, we must understand that people relate to businesses. People relate to brands, your customers. They relate to everything different than they did 25 years ago. In fact, If you are still doing what you did 25 years ago, shame on you. (laughs) Even even not even 25 years ago, even five years ago, if you're still doing the same thing, you got to get with the program. Things change. People change. Business changes every, every day. And so as I state with you all the time, business is strategy and you must learn how to move through around and to stay on top of the strategy at all times. So let's get down to business today. This broadcast is brought to you by Motor Club of America. Now, I know you've heard me talk about this plenty of times before, but I must tell you, this is an amazing opportunity, trifold. Number one, you get a service that is literally bar none, the best on the market. Number two, you get the opportunity to earn some income if you are a part of this organization, unlike other roadside assistance companies. And number three, it's on the cutting edge of things about to change. Go to the roadside buddy dot com the roadside buddy dot com and learn more about motor club of america and how it can help you not only protect you and your family while you're out driving it can also help you earn some income so check it out at your convenience people need stories more than they need bread itself they tell us how we live and what we do that's what relationship building email marketing does for you and your customer Now, I know you've heard this saying before, the money is in the list. Yep, it is true. In any area of business, having and maintaining a good quality list can equal dollars in the bank for you and your brand. Now, I already told you when I started my business 25 years ago, word of mouth was the referral system. Email marketing did not exist, but that is a different story today in 2018. Now customers want to stay in contact with you. They want to stay in touch with you and see what you're doing more now than ever before. Customers relate to brands and they can connect with a one-on-one relationship. Just out of curiosity, are you on my email list? If you're not, I tell you, you're missing some great stuff. Go to bit.ly forward slash purposed living and get on that list. Today I gave out two free coaching coaching program so it is it pays to be on the list too okay you know when you go to restaurants and they sign you up it pays to be on the list you get discounts you know when what things are going on you sometimes get free food so hey get on the list it pays to be on the list the first thing that you need to do when you're talking about building your email list email marketing relationship building we got to talk about the subject line Now, I know that sometimes we are indicted with so many emails. I know I do. I probably have. And I'm one of those kind of lazy people. I very seldom erase email messages. I probably have maybe 10, 15,000. Yes, I'm a hoarder when it comes to emails. But I quickly see the ones that I'm interested in by the subject line. And I'm sure you're probably like that as well. Your subject line should be attention grabbing. It should make wanting to open your email up so compelling 
that your customers cannot help but to click and open. Now, if you cannot get your subscribers to open your emails, it really doesn't matter how good the actual email is. Now, literally, it's easy to spend a lot of time crafting a great message and then just slap a subject line on it at the end, but that's not going to get an open. Sometime writing them, researching them, getting great topics and, and seeing what headlines gets you good open rates, that's what you do. So I'm going to give you five tips to get started. Number one, keep it short and simple. Kiss but amazing. Keep it short and simple, but amazing. So you want your readers to see the entire subject line before they click it. You also want to make it easy for people to scan through their emails. People don't have time. People don't have time to set up and just try to go figure out what's what they want to get to the point. So try to get your point across in 50 characters or less. And then you need to pay attention to how your subject lines look on your own devices. Try out your own stuff. You know, that has helped me so much in business where I'll go back and check some things, put my website and all that kind of stuff in my phone just to see how it comes across to the customer. You might want to do that before you send a message out because if it comes across, across kind of crazy, then the chances of them opening it are very slim and they probably won't refer it either. So another great idea is to keep a swipe file of subject lines that have grabbed your attention. What emails have you been drawn to open right away just by the subject line? Even if the emails are on different topics, you can adapt them to your own needs. You don't have to recreate the wheel, just make it yours. Don't copy now, but just recreate the wheel and make it yours. The second thing that you want to do if you want to turn your emails into cash, don't be spammy. Nobody likes spam. Avoid spammy words. No one, I mean, no one wants to be spam. Not only is it unprofessional, it's a quick way to get on the block list. All right. Nobody wants to be on the block list. This completely defeats your purpose. So eliminate using any words that are associated with spam emails. And we all know what they are. Sale, discount, coupon, free, limited time offer, and even reminder are often used and even if they don't trigger a spam filter and actually make it to your reader's inbox, chances are they'll highly get ignored. Nobody wants to be sold, discounted, coupon free, limited time offered or anything. So instead, start using uh, the emails you're saving in your swipe files and then go back and see what subject lines got your attention again and that gave, uh, that gave the best click rates for you opening that email. Try to analyze why they worked well for you in your market. And then again, those emails that you get, try to see why, what enticed you to open it up. Not everyone will work well in every niche, but find the types of subject lines that get your reader's attention to open your emails and tweak it from there. The next thing that you need to do is personalize it. Everybody loves personalization. I remember growing up, I used to love to have my initials on stuff. <laughs> not now, not anymore. But anyway, people love personalized things. Most people want to feel connected to what they like and what they enjoy. So in personalizing your emails with someone's first name, kind of has been overused in some markets and it still works for many of us, but try doing something different. Give it a try and see if it works, but don't overdo it. Use it when you really need to and have them open up the email. So switch it up every now and then with a lighthearted intro, like something I use all the time. I always say, hey there, how you doing? Things of that nature, just to break the monotony of being the same all the time up. So depending on what data you collect when your readers sign up for your email, you can personalize other things like their location, for example, uh, perhaps maybe the name of your state or their state, even a city in an email subject line is sure to quickly get someone's attention. The next thing that I want to make you aware of is so important to pique the curiosity of your readers. Now, let's face it. Most people are nosy. That's, that's the truth. Most people are nosy and it's hard to ignore subject lines that sound intriguing or only tell a part of the story. Using parentheses or quotation marks at the end of your subject line typically works well. Now, this idea is very simple. You want to click and open the email to find out what the heck the people are talking about that send you the email. 
and figure out how the story ends, especially if it's a captivating subject line. Bottom line, the best tip is when it comes to crafting your compelling subject lines in your email, it is to swipe files of examples that got you to open up yours. And I think that is really a key tip here. When you're talking about opening up emails, things go back to what made you open up an email when you got it. And if it's that sales, that special, you know, you never know what, what market you're in and the type of customer you have really relay that to your audience. Be creative. Don't be afraid to add your personality. Um, make it lively and conversational, not just dull and humdrum. So signing up is a strong signal to buy. And, you know, people, they're not going to waste their time getting on your email list if they're not interested. And so keep emailing them. Eventually, they will find something that you have to be intriguing and they may eventually buy from you. I mean, that's the, the hope and the goal there to build a list of supportive tribe members, um, email customers that you don't have to go out here and spend advertising for. You have your own back office where you can go and email people and based upon the things that you have. And the last thing that I want to share with you, this is what we always forget to do. And being a sales manager in different professions and being a business coach, I have to remind my clients on a regular basis. I don't care what you do. Don't forget to close the deal. And how do you do that when you're email marketing? Obviously, your goal is to build a relationship first and foremost. So make your list aware and yes, sell your product or your service. Nevertheless, don't make every email about selling because that too will get you blocked and it will turn a lot of people off. I mean, just think about it. Nobody wants to be sold every day. Tell jokes, share stories. And dive into a glimpse of your life. I know sometimes I send emails out and I'll put a picture of me doing something or a picture of my family member, my dog or my food or anything of that nature or a travel that I've been or, or in the process of doing. And that really engages your audience to really connect with you. And so the ultimate goal is you want to entice your buyers, your customers, your relationships that you built on email to hit the buy button on a regular basis, not just one time, but a regular occurrence. The more you learn about your audience and attract them to your brand, this will be easier and get easier as you go. So that is it. I hope these tips have helped you. I gave you about six tips there. And I hope you got a feel for why email marketing should be a really big part and a strategy of your business and your brand. It literally, I mean literally, is the beginning of building relationships into buying customers. Now, if you'd like to learn more about email marketing and how you can profit from your relationships, you might want to go and check out bit.ly forward slash own my list. And that's O-W-N-M-Y-L-I-S-T. Again, that's B-I-T dot L-Y. Trying to put it here as I'm speaking it to you here. But B-I-W-B-I-T dot L-Y on my list. And you will get a compilation of tons of resources and materials that will help you to become a better marketer in your business. It's a lot of things on there talking about how to build a solid list, how um, email marketing can grow your business, tips to help you boost email subscriptions, how to create new content for email campaigns, top email marketing mistakes. Now that one right there is a big one because we often make mistakes. And if you make probably one or two, you probably will not be on the tops of list of people opening your email. Types of emails you need to use, email marketing tips for businesses, 10 tips for developing effective email content, how to optimize mobile email marketing campaigns, how to follow up with clients via email. And then there's a video class there, seven marketing strategies for business owners. And then guess what? I put a little uh, a, a freebie in there. If you get this package between now and Sunday, which is this Sunday coming up, it is just $47. And you will also get a 30 minute consult with me me to help you plan and format your business strategy. So great deal. Go to bit.ly forward slash own O-W-N my list and get your uh, goodie deal there today. 
and start creating emails that make you some money that can turn it into cash. You know, that's why we're all in business anyway. Obviously, we're here to create a service, provide a service for our customers to share information, have fun. But the bottom line, when everybody goes home, you want to get that check. That's the ultimate goal. Nobody goes to work for free or anything of that nature. Whatever you're providing, the information, the resources and the tools that you're giving out, your ultimate goal is to make a profit. At least I hope so. Or why are you in business? <laughs> why are you in business if you're not interested in making any money? So that is my message for you today. Thanks again for tuning in to the People Connect podcast. You can learn more about me and what I have to offer you as a business owner, as a startup entrepreneur. You can go to 2 Excel with nichelle.com and this will be in the notes of the um the podcast as well but again to excel with nichelle.com i am also available at nichelle womack Com. And so as a people building coach, lifestyle and business strategist, I specialize in helping you to reach your greatest potential through self-reliance and pushing you to and through your eternal internal greatness. I provide information, inspiration and motivation through online and offline community engagement, power speaking events and one on one consulting, positive thoughts and language or my fuel for energy and my desire to help you find yours. Connect with me on Instagram at Nichelle Womack. And I'm also on Twitter at Nichelle Womack. Until next time, thanks again for downloading, listening to, and sharing the People Connect podcast. I am Nichelle Womack signing off as your host. Blessings and peace unto you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>